Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is WordPress WP Scan. It's a it's a tool that's built into Parrot OS, Kali Linux. It's uh, to scan vulnerabilities on WordPress sites. And as you can see here, we have Turnkey WordPress. I have Turnkey WordPress running in VirtualBox, as you see here. Uh, if you want to check out how to set up your own WordPress site and everything like that. You can go ahead and check out my video I posted to install this virtual machine. And um, if you have questions about the networking uh, alongside with the how to access it and all that stuff, just let me know and I can help you out with that. All right, so first things first, um, we have the WordPress site on the, the network of 192.168.99 with a slash 24 bit subnet. So I have. Um, WordPress open. I, you know, thank you for checking out my InfoSec Pat's site. I have my own site set up. I know a little bit about WordPress. I'm not the best with it, but I can get by. Um, it's just brand new install. I haven't done any updates. So the first things first, we're going to just run a scan against it and see what's out there. And then we're going to enumerate users and we'll add some users to see if we can um, see those users in in the scan, all right? So first things first, we'll just open up. I have um, I have uh, terminated here. So what we can do is we can just clear this out. And first things first, what we'll do is do WP scan. And we'll just run that just as it is. As you can see, the following options is required, dash dash URL. So in our case, the URL is going to be the IP address of the web, uh, WordPress server. So I want to do sudo wp scan dash dash URL and then it's going to be 192.168.99.23. Whoop, 23. All right, we can just run this. I can put my root password and this will go out and run wp scan against that. We'll I'll num enumerate all the plugins. You can see how vulnerable WordPress is. And if we go up here a little bit, we can see, let's uh, pull this over a little bit. And we can see, you know, you can just go through the results, you know, interesting findings, headers, uh, what server it's running on. You know, this is like when you're doing reconnaissance against your target. Um, so the uh, found, uh, found by headers, passive detection, I guess it's confidence, 100% confident. So if we can see here, we can just go down, you can see rapid seven, you can see the module scanner. So you can see what kind of um, vulnerabilities and, uh, and attacks that you can do. And these are reference links. All right. So, you know, you can see that the WordPress readme, uh, readme files found at, at this URL and you just keep, you can go down and down and down. All right. So this is some interesting information. Remember, first things first, I don't condone anything. Go, don't go out there scanning any public websites that have WordPress and try to do these kinds of uh, um, tools or anything like that, attacks or whatever you want to call it. Just do this on your own internal lab so you can learn, you know, obviously this is for educational purposes. So there's some interesting stuff in here, enumerating all plugins. Passive methods, no plugins found. And so what we're going to do now, what I want to do really quick. So I want to go ahead and add a user on, on our WordPress site. And we're going to just create some bogus user and we're going to run a different command to actually check out and enumerate the, the WordPress user. And, and I'll put these commands inside of the, um, inside the video description. All right. So, Let's go ahead really quick. Let's go back to our WordPress. Let's go to users here. We only have admin. So let's go ahead and add a new user, uh, add user. I'm just gonna put Patrick and required. I'm just gonna put Patrick at patrick.com. Doesn't really matter. And first name is Patrick. Last name is 
infosec website is going to be 192.168.99.23 and I'm going to go ahead and show password I'm going to go ahead and make my own password password 2020 okay hide that's fine all right so the role I'm going to make him an administrator it doesn't really matter just want to make sure it's the same password 2020 perfect add user don't save all right so we have this Patrick user here right so in the real world you know you can run this against you know a real target but in this case since you know saving time and energy the typing what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this your I mean this this uh this command all right I want to copy this I want to minimize that for now let's go ahead and go get back into the command shell and then we can go ahead and run paste this so what this is doing this is going to the URL of my web server and it's going to force and it's going to ignore main redirect so it's just going to do some some uh, some tedious things and then WordPress content DIR, DIR which is the WordPress directory and WP content and it's going to rent uh, use the dash dash random user agent and enumerate dash u I mean u is for user all right so let's go ahead and run this and it's going to go out and see uh, we may have to run this as an admin so let's go ahead and do that let's use sudo okay so that's going to go out and do its thing and you see here I found admin and it found Patrick okay so now what you can do next you know if you have a word list you can actually brute force these I'm not going to do that in this video this is just a basic scanning of WordPress and this you know this little command but you can see here that we found admin and we found Patrick as a user and then we can go ahead and take further action if we if we're if we're able to or if we were given the permission to you know try to find the password and everything like that to log in so say for example we got the password password 2020 we're able to brute force that and then from the internet well not let's let's just open up here so what we're going to do here we're going to just going to use I'm going to copy this so anytime you want to go ahead and administer your WordPress, it's going to be the WordPress site slash WP dash admin. That's the admin. Okay. So I want to go ahead and log out of here, uh, log out. And I'm just going to paste it just so we can come back here. And I want to do Patrick. If I can spell my name. And then I'm going to do password 2020. Just to make sure, I want to show you the password. Password 2020, log in. Don't save. Remind me later. And now I'm in. So that's pretty much how you create a user in WordPress. And you know, maybe further down the line, we can go ahead and do updates. We can do plugins, but I'm not really a WordPress expert. Um, I know a little bit about it just because of some scans I've done and some stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much concludes this video. This is pretty much how you scan a WordPress site and to use some commands in WP uh, WP scan, which is WordPress scan. So please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. If you have any questions, just hit me up on social media and I'm here to help. All right, hope you, hopefully you guys all have a good day. And if you're in Florida watching this, hopefully you're staying safe with this crazy storm out there. But happy Sunday. Have a good one, guys.